firefighters have been tackling a blaze in a block of flats in Manchester city centre. The fire service said it started on the ninth floor of a 12-storey block near the Arndale shopping centre, before spreading to other floors. A spokesman said the blaze was under control and one person had been taken to hospital due to smoke inhalation. Shoppers watched as fire crews dealt with the fire on Joyner Street in the northern quarter. Manchester Fire said 12 engines had been at the scene and advised people to avoid the area. Eyewitness Legun said there had been lots of smoke and debris. Mark Denby, who had been in a nearby cafe, said, There were groups of people congregating on street corners looking up at a tower block and I saw a building ablaze and flames licking up the side of the building. The flames kept going up the side of the building, it was pretty horrifying. He said fire engines arrived in quick succession and people applauded the crews for doing an heroic job. Andrew Hurst, 36, said cheering could be heard as fire crews put out the blaze. He said, you could hear the crowd's cheers as it was going down and you could see the torches from the firemen searching the burned out apartments right next door to the other apartments that were still frighteningly ablaze. The fire service tweeted, the fire had spread to multiple floors but we have things well under control here. It said emergency services, including police and paramedics, had done an amazing job. Manchester Central MP Lucy Powell tweeted that the building was safely evacuated. Paramedics and others are at the scene to triage all those affected but no serious injuries known. BBC Sport journalist Saj Chowdhury, who was near the scene, said the fire was doused quite quickly. Police said there were road closures in Joyner Street and in Church Street, between High Street and Tibb Street. Did you witness what happened? Email Havio Ursae at bbc.co.uk. Please include a contact number if you are willing to speak to a BBC journalist. You can also contact us in the following ways. Or use the form below. If you are happy to be contacted by a BBC journalist, please leave a telephone number that we can contact you on. In some cases a selection of your comments will be published displaying your name as you provide it and location, unless you state otherwise. Your contact details will never be published. When sending us pictures, video or eyewitness accounts at no time should you endanger yourself or others, take any unnecessary risks or infringe any laws. Please ensure you have read the terms and conditions. Terms and conditions.